Hey everyone, uh, today what I want to talk a little bit about is how we can show our work uh, from what we do in our commander in to Excel. Okay, so here is what I'm going to do. So the first things first, I'm just going to import a data set that's in a data package. And sometimes we use these in class, uh, they're just handy to have. And so I'm just going to go ahead and grab, like, I think the cars database. That one will be a good one. We'll click OK. And if we look at my data set, I've got speed and distance. I think this is like stopping distances for cars traveling at different speeds. OK, so we've got those. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I'm just going to run some uh, basic analyses. Now, I don't expect you to follow along with all these. But what I do want to show you is after you complete your analysis, what do you need to provide me so that I can grade and give partial credit? All right, so first things first. So I'm going to start off with just some descriptive statistics. We're going to do the active data set. So it gives me kind of like the minimum, the means, the maximums of both the speed and the distance. That's handy. Um, then I'll go down and do just a numerical summary, maybe of just distance. And it gives me some other things here. It gives me like standard deviation. That's a handy one. And now since I did it for that one, uh, I did distance this one. Let's go ahead and do speed and we can click OK. And now that we have those, let's make a graphic. Let's make a scatter plot of these. Let's plot the speed on the X axis and the distance to stop in the Y. And maybe we'll give this a label and we'll call this stopping distance. And maybe on the X axis, we do miles per hour. And on the Y axis, we do feet to stop. And we click OK. And we should get a nice little pop up box. Let's see if it popped up. Yeah, there it is. Stopping distance, we got a nice scatter plot. And now let's do something that's called like a regression analysis. We'll get to this much later in class. Um, but let's do, oh, not that one, sorry. We'll do a linear regression where the response is the distance and the explanatory is the speed. And we'll click OK. And now I have this whole bunch of output. I have this code up here that our commander runs. OK, so let's come over to Excel and let's see exactly what would be some good things to include. So maybe the first things that we could do, put in just a little description of our problem. And it could be as simple as like car problem. Um, and maybe this is like uh, number five. OK, so we've got car problem. Uh, and then you can also name the sheet, which can be handy if you're going to do a bunch of sheets together. So we could do rename. And maybe we'll call this, yeah, car underscore problem. And call that good. OK, so there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this. And unfortunately, I have quite a few students do this the wrong way. So oftentimes what I see students do is they see, hey, I have all of this data, all this code that just got outputted. And I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste this here. And now I have done a summary of everything that I've done. And I'm going to be done. Now, while that is partially true, it's like, yes, this is a summary of what you have done. In order for me to see the output now, I would have to go back in, upload your exact data, and then run this code. It would take a ton of time, way too much time for me to be able to do that for every single student. So instead, what you should do, it doesn't take any more time but all you need to do is you come over instead instead of just the little code here we go to the output and we highlight all of the code that is applicable for our specific problem and we can do copy and here we can just do paste now this is much much easier for me to go through and I can actually see the output I can see your act your actual values and I can see are you interpreting it correct um, another thing that we can do is if we do paste special and we do if I do it as just text this time sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to read I don't think it actually did anything on this one uh, but it, uh, we go through we get these all posted and when you do this you can also we can right click, uh, hold on, 
So if we go to edit, copy, there it is. We can copy the graph and we can even insert the graph. And we could just paste that right at the bottom. Paste. And now I have a graphic there as well. So this is really handy. Now you might be like, but it's so long. Like there's so much stuff on there. It's like, honestly, this is really, really easy for me uh, to handle. And if, uh, if you need to, you can put this at the very, very, very end of your work. Let's say maybe you're doing some other little calculations as well. Uh, you could do your calculations here as well. So let me, let me give me just a little bit more space. Let's just do an insert like this. Maybe I needed to calculate the range for speed. And I wanted the range for uh, distance. What I could do here is just say that equals, so the range for the speed would be 25 maximum minus the minimum 4 and then the range for the distance would equal 120 minus 2 and now I can see that I get these get those actual calculations this is what I am looking for for when you are providing me your work that you do all of your calculations kind of at the top and then all of the output that you needed from our commander is pasted at the bottom and that lets me very quickly go through and see your work and see if you have done it correctly just pasting in the little bit of code from our commander up here is not sufficient i want all of the code and the output that you get from r that, that's that shows up in r studio so anyhow it's very simple uh and it doesn't take a lot of time but it helps me out immensely to be able to accurately accurately grade your work and be able to give you partial credit if I just see this, it's very hard for me to give you partial credit unless if they are very, very common mistakes. Uh, otherwise, if I get this, I can very easily see what happened uh, and where some of your pitfalls were. So anyhow, that is how you can use Excel uh, to help show your work.